everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting the idol of the old ones. Yes, yeah, the fabulous new terrain piece from War Cry's Pyre and Flood. <laughs> yes, here it is. It's an absolutely wonderful piece. And, well, we're going to be painting it up today. And a massive thank you goes out to Games Workshop for sending me the Pyre and Flood box early to build up and paint for all of you. And that is exactly what we are going to be doing. So the color we're going to be using first is Pterodon Turquoise. And the model has been primed in Mechanica's Standard Grey. And we're going to be applying this Pterodon Turquoise over the top of all of what will be that sort of lovely dark green stone. For now, we just want to get this Pterodon Turquoise all over. Because we've got a number of other colors to do before we get there. But you'll see why. So we're going to apply this all over the top, just like this. We're going to avoid things like the large focusing crystal on the top of the forehead of the crown. We're also going to avoid the large red gems in the middle. Well, in the middle, in the eye sockets. And just for the sake of your sanity, we're also going to avoid everywhere which is going to inevitably be gold. With that pterodon turquoise all applied, it is a little bit patchy in some places, but that's okay. Don't worry too much, because we are going to be covering over it shortly. However, before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take some flesh terrors red, and we're going to apply this over top of those gems in the eyes. Like that sort of thing. And similarly to that, we're going to take some Talisar Blue and we're going to apply this over top of the large crystals. So with that Talisar Blue all applied, it's still drying at the moment, but that's okay, because by the time we've finished with what we're going to be doing, which is across all three of these colors, it'll be dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly three parts Lamium Medium to one part Black Templar mix, and we are going to be applying this over the top of all the Pterodon Turquoise, all of the Flesh Terrors Red, and over the top of the Talisar Blue. So that's all done, it's still drying in some places, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is move on and we're gonna add a little bit more shading. So we're gonna start with some Tyran Blue and we're gonna use this over the top of the crystal.
And with that done, we're then going to take some Berserker Bloodshade. I'm going to apply this over the top of the red. And so with that now done, we're then going to take some thin down Retributor armor and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the remaining details. So with all that Retributor armor applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to shade it. I'm going to use some Gilliman flesh for this. And we're just going to apply this all over the top of all the gold. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take some thinned down Abaddon Black. And we're going to apply this over the top of the flat of the top of the kind of rocky statue. Just to ensure that it's nice and dark. So with that done, the Idol of the Old Ones is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready all over. And it's looking pretty cool. Well, not in there it's not, but who cares? So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to now take it to the next level. And we're do this, doing this by adding some highlights. Now the first of these is going to be a dry brush of Cabalite Green. And we're going to be dry brushing this over the top of all of our black green stone. And just be really gentle here. Don't apply too much pressure with the brush. So don't worry too much about getting into every single nook and cranny. That's okay if you don't. You just want to get enough of them. Like this sort of thing. Just to really start kind of bringing out those edges. So with that Cabalite green dry brush applied to all of the rock, as you can see, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Cyberite green and we're going to apply a really gentle dry brush of this over the top again. With that all done, we're then going to take some Leviathan Purple and we're going to apply this over the top of these nodes.
with that Leviathan purple applied, we're then going to take some wildwood and we're going to do something I've forgotten to do, which is to paint in all the soil and also the tree branches that are creeping up the, the actual idol itself. So with that all done, we're then going to take some thinned down Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm going to use this to highlight the gems in the eyes. With that Evil Sun Scarlet applied, we then take a tiny little dot of Kislev Flesh. And we apply this at the corners. Like that. So with that then done, we're going to join up the constellations here with some thinned down Iron Breaker. So with that all done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Lothern Blue and we're going to use this to dry brush our blue crystal. So with that all done, we're now going to work on the bit that's probably going to take the longest, which is to take some thinned down Retributor armor once again. And we're going to use this to effectively relayer the gold. And what we're looking to do here is just relayer all the bits that are flat. Just like that sort of thing. Really looking to 
return that shine. To all of our gold details. So with all of that Retributor armor reapplied, we're then going to dry brush all the gold with some Stormhost silver. So with our Stormhost Silver Dry Brush all applied, there's just two things left to do. And one of them is this cheeky chappy right in here, this little toad or frog. So what we're going to do is very simply, we're just going to take some Mantis Warriors Green. And I'm going to apply this all over the top of him. that mantis warriors green applied to the little froggy what we're then going to do to finish it off is we're going to take some tyrant skull and we're going to dry brush this over the top of the the dirt the trees and the skull So with all of those dry brushes and highlights now done, our Idol of the Old Ones is finished. And I think this just is one of the best terrain pieces Games Workshop has ever made. But also, it's one of my favourite paint jumps I've ever done on something of this size. I think it looks fantastic. I really love it and I can't wait to do even more. I've got a ruined spawning pool on the way. So, you should watch this space. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.